On today's episode, Dad starts with a mumble mouth right out of the gate. He speaks eloquently. When Dad does his Weber charcoal filet mignon bacon wrap steaks, that's such an awkward way to say it. And it takes all of his willpower not to do it. Of the meat stick, which I really want to make a joke, but I won't. Who got this? Dad got this. What's up, DGT Lions, and welcome to Dad Got This. Today is a really special video. Today is an unboxing video. We're unboxing the meat stick. Don't go there. And this is a wireless... This is a wireless thermometer that you would use for grilling and baking and roasting. And the lovely people over at the meat stick provided this to Dad for Dad to get his opinion on. So right up front, this is a hashtag sponsored video, but I'll give you my honest opinion on this thing when we give it a shot. First things first, I need you guys to get that subscribe button and hit the notification bell, because that's gonna make sure that you don't miss any of Dad's videos. And who would wanna miss one of Dad's videos? They're awesome. Okay, maybe I think they're awesome, but hopefully you think they're awesome too. So go ahead and do that for me. Plus, Dad's always doing subscriber giveaways, and the way you enter a Dad Got This subscriber giveaway is to be a subscriber and comment on a video. It's that simple. Okay, now that that stuff's out of the way, let's get into the unboxing and review of the meat stick. So there are two parts to the set that I got. The set that I got is a range extender, so that means it comes with this thing. This thing is a piece that clips to the side of anywhere near your cooking, and it's gotta stay close to the probe. And that's what's gonna extend that range up to the 300 feet. Without that, it doesn't go as far. I forget the exact, uh, how far it goes, I wonder if it tells me. Without it, it has a shorter distance. I'll look that up online and go ahead and put that in somewhere. I should probably just do that now. Hold on one second. Without it, it's only got like a three to six foot range, and that's limited if it's in an enclosed grill. So you kind of really need this piece to, to make it super useful. Otherwise, it would only work if you're like right next to it. This is an important piece. And then we have the actual meat stick itself in its little charging station. This is cool. The next part is the meat stick itself in its little charging station. I love that it's this red color. It's really high tech looking and it's very well built looking. Looks nice. It's pretty simple. The meat stick is inserted into there. This is the probe that you're gonna to use to go ahead and do any of your cooking with. It has two sensors in it. The main body has a sensor that reads the temperature of the food. And this back part here also has a sensor that'll tell you the ambient temperature in whatever you're cooking. So if you're cooking something in a grill, it'll tell you the temperature of the grill along with the temperature of the food. That's pretty cool. And it goes in really simply. This piece goes in here and you need to make sure that when you click it, that this part is touching the end here and then this part is clicked in and that's gonna put it into its charger. There is only one button on this entire thing. And if you hit it, it turns on the light and that's gonna activate the meat stick. That light will go off after a few seconds and then you pull the meat stick out and then you start linking it to your phone. It's not really difficult or a hard piece of equipment to look at. Um, the nice thing is that they're both magnetic. So this piece will magnetize and clip to something. This will magnetize and clip to something. So if you're outside grilling and you have something metal, you can stick it on the side. That's pretty cool. Um, batteries, it takes batteries. It's not a, a plug-in charge kind of thing. And it just pops off the back, it's real simple. And the meat stick charging station takes two AAA batteries. Nothing crazy about it. Two AAA batteries go right in here. And then this piece just clips right back down on it. Snap, simple. The extender takes AA batteries, and it's just a regular kind of battery where you pull down, and it takes two AA batteries. And 
boom. That's really it. It's super simple. There is not a lot to this thing. Uh, you get a manual. It's more like a poster. It's not even like a user manual. And what this tells me is this can't be that difficult to use. If majority of it is pictures, there can't be too much to this thing. Literally looking at it, it tells you to download the app, plug in some batteries, sync it to your phone, and follow the instructions on the phone. That's pretty much it. It also has an awesome looking graphic of what looks to be salt bay, sprinkling salt on meat. That's pretty fun. After you load up your batteries, there is something that you're gonna to need to know. If you get this the first time, you're gonna to need to know what dad didn't know, and which is why this is gonna be a two part video. When you first put your batteries in and stick the meat stick in, it needs four hours to charge the meat stick before you can go and use it. Well, I'm not four hours away from dinner. I'm supposed to have dinner pretty soon. So if dad didn't plan very well, I can't use this today. So by whoever grilled steaks, not happening today. That's gonna have to happen tomorrow. So just keep that in mind. You get this, and you're really excited, and you leave it in the package, and you're like, oh, I'll take it out of the package and get it ready when I go to grill. Don't do that. Immediately take it out of the package, stick some batteries in it, put it on the charger, and get it ready. Because otherwise, you're gonna be stuck like me and not be able to grill immediately when you want to. You gotta wait four hours for the first charge. Let's go ahead and do a quick little thing with the app. I'll try to show you some screenshots of how that looks. So you go ahead and you hit the button and now the light goes on. And once the light goes off, I'm gonna open it, take it out. Dad's gonna fire up his trusty iPhone. I'm gonna open up the meat stick. And it has found it and it says it has full battery. And it says it's 83 degrees in here. It's a little, not quite 83 degrees in the house. So it's probably because I've been holding it, making it warm. We're gonna turn on the extender. And it says extender found. And it shows me that, okay, it's up and running. Please keep it near your stick while you cook. Perfect. And then if I wanted to go ahead and do a cook, I would go ahead and push the picture of the meat stick there. So that opens up this screen. Then I'm gonna hit the grill button, the beef button, the steak button. And then it's gonna ask me a whole bunch of stuff about how do I want it cooked, target ambient temperature. So that's pretty cool. So let's say I wanna go medium rare. That tells me it wants a 135 temp and I can set my target ambient temp to anything I wanted. And you would insert this in your steak, hit next, named it state. You can set alerts so that the ambient temperature and the steak temperature, when it's getting close to the temperature you want, you can set an alert. Because I like to do a reverse sear, I can set an alert for about 10 degrees shy of my final temp. So that's gonna tell me it's time to move it over to the hot side and start doing my searing. I like that. After this screen, we'll hit next again. It does scanning and creating cook. It says to remove the stick from the charger. I already did that. And you hit start. And boom, you're at your final thing and it starts giving you all of your particulars on this cook. Really easy. So that's dad's unboxing of the meat stick range extender edition. I cannot wait to get outside and cook with this thing and see how it works. So make sure you guys check back for that video later when dad does his Weber charcoal filet mignon bacon wrap steaks. That's such an awkward way to say it, but do you expect anything else from dad about this? Probably not. So, the dad does an unboxing from a wonderful company who sent him an awesome thing called the meat stick, which I really want to make a joke, but I won't. Dad doesn't do outros.
So that's it. For more fun and easy recipes, visit dadgotthis.com. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the damn bell. I double dog dare. Come on, you have to do it. It was a double dog dare. I mean, those are the rules. <laughs> <laughs>